with a quick yeast starter going of the new trend of this Kavik or whatever yeast, this uh, Norwegian stuff that ferments real fast. I got a little uh, sample and making a, a two liter yeast starter for a brew today to give it a test out. Outdoor brew man here is going to brew up a batch of all grain beer. It's been almost a year. Got my brew set up here. <coughs> it's been, like I said, a while. Gave everything a little bit of a rinse out. And what do we got? It's almost 70 degrees. Oh, this one says it's 80 because I put cold water in that one. So it's uh, pretty warm here. 27 ish uh, Celsius, 80 Fahrenheit. I'm going to turn the gas on. Light her up. Been too long. So I got uh, 30 liters of water in there. And that was ran through a uh, charcoal filter. I guess take the chlorine out from the city. And it's brew time. So sparge water's on. And I'm about to go uh, mill some of my grains. Build the same uh, grain mill as like seven years ago in one of my first videos. can't see the screen still using an SJ cam 4000 since I've not even made one cent on uh, YouTube and this is a cheap plastic water jug a split 2x4 to clamp it in it's been working great for years there's my grind not too bad let's see yeah I don't think I need a Mill it twice. They're all cracked. Even the ones that kind of look like that, I push on them and they just fall apart. So, looking forward to mashing it. I just shut off my sparge water because it was almost hitting 170, but I've had it open and it smells good. I put some of my specialty grains in. I'm leaving out my carafe one that's already pre crushed till I guess fly sparging. Never done that. So we'll just get the, mostly the color from it. It's kind of going to be like a brown IPA-ish with my homegrown hops. Mashing wherever it ends up. Hopefully at a lower range. 150-ish is what I was going for. It just started shooting up there pretty quick and I got this insulation on here which I probably don't need. So I'm going to get the other greens in there and mash it on. I still have neglected to make a 15 and a half gallon mash tank, even though I have the keg. This is a 13.2. Sure beats the cooler I started with though. So I'm going to wait for some more water to get in there as it siphons in. I don't pump this stuff. thick mash right now. Let this get saturated and I'll start stirring it when it's a little easier, or at least with two hands. So I did a bit of a mash out. I collected, uh, I don't know, about this much and heated it up to probably like 190 and put it back in. It did have it up to 160. My sparge water is done. I just threw in my Carafa 1, it smells like coffee, and now I'm going to put in my Vorloff back in and start collecting and fly sparging. So I'm starting to collect some wort, my fly sparge, nicer if this thing sat a bit leveler but it's fine and when I get my, when I make my other mash ton, well, at least either way I'm going to make that elbow, actually it's going to be right here and go straight in just like that one does with the thermometer on the side and that because it just makes more sense so collecting wort now I'm gonna go get the uh, go grab them now 
I'm going to put four ounces of uh, Holotar hops in, homegrown. Wow, that's ballooning up. Vacuum seal didn't hold too well on that one. So, took it out of the freezer and <laughs> it's expanding. It's crazy. So this is going to go in the mash. I might throw it in loose or put it in the muslin bag. But three tier setup, which I've already made a video. And again, I haven't brewed since literally probably been a year all green like this. You can see the boil is going on real good. Got to empty the grains there. And wait. Having the only uh, beer I have on top. And this was made. Probably nine months ago, and it's a box kit, dry hopped, and you can taste the bitterness. So, can't wait for this. Uh, it's gonna be a brown hoppy ale, back to brewing brown town ale. Yep. So for the last 15 minutes, which there's 10 left, I circulate through my pump to my giant chiller back in the, the boil. I added my 20 minute uh, Holotar slash Cascade potentially hops that are in my backyard that I grow. And waiting for, I put my warp lock in and waiting for five minutes for hop addition and then flame out hop addition and then start chilling like a villain. My pre-boil on all this was after it sat in the refractometer a while, 1052, so it's going to be a pretty big beer. Big brown, hoppy ale is what it's going to be. And uh, I got another beer inside from some of the extra runnings, which will get some adjuncts and shit and make over 15 gallons of beer today. So, five minute hop edition. Two ounces of Simcoe, the only not homegrown hop going in this. In my hop basket. Look at them hops. That's flame out. There we go. Flame out. I'm gonna turn the water on. That's just extra heat floating around. These Columbia shorts, you see? They suck when you're just even near this thing. They melt. Fucking shitty Columbia. Been cooling for a few minutes, maybe five. It's already down uh, over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. A little bit of leak in my water coupler there, but not on this side. Ward in, ward out. Wait till it gets down to like, I don't know, 70, and I'll call it there because this is summer and it's pretty hot. And that's what you can see, pellet hops went in there and the last bit of dry hops, or sorry, the flame out hops that are my homegrown Cascades just got thrown in there. I got a filter thing on the bottom. So this is about 24 hours from being pitched. Even though you could see the cry zones up here, this morning this beer was already fermenting crazy. And this is what I got the yeast in from a friend. And it only had a tiny bit, kind of where my thumb is. That much yeast in there. And I made a quick starter on the stir plate. It probably sat for five hours while it brewed. And wow, this yeast is crazy. It was Norwegian or Viking ish yeast, they, they call. So this thing. I'm giving it a test too. It's all the new trends on YouTube and everywhere else. I think it's saying it's 24, which is 75, or it's off that. Uh, it's keeping it out of the light and keeping it upstairs where it's hot. No AC being used here. And it's going crazy. It's a brown hoppy ale.